<laughs> this place has some really cool stuff, a lot of nice gear. This is a $33,000 board. Everything that you see in this board is completely analog. I was like, that's a really nice nap couch, because today I was looking for a place to nap. You said nap. Yeah. <laughs> it is a nice couch, though. That is a nice couch. Yeah, just bucket. Yeah, just to take a nap. This is going to be one of those good naps where you wake up drooling. Yo, what's good? Y'all to catch you and Yannicka. I'm about to head into the Rec Philly room for a private tour. It's gonna be my first time checking out this place, so it's gonna be exciting. But first things first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Akechu and Yannicka. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, and performing artist from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. And my goal on this channel is to become a world-renowned music legend. So I post vlogs, performances, song covers, you name it. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm about to see my bro Tito. It's gonna be the first time in a minute since I've seen them, so it should be lit. Hey, yo, what's good, y'all? I'm out here with the bro. Tell me who you are. Yo, Slime. It's like, no, what's up, guys? My name is Terrell. We, uh, we're both chilling at Rec Philly. We're about to uh, be giving a tour. You, you know who he is. Slime, <laughs> slap, and all that. Yeah, man, I just met this guy today. Honestly, um, we were just vibing about. You know, I can't talk. We were just vibing <laughs> out, you know, just talking about this tour. And, like, this is our first time really getting to check out, like, yeah, Red Philly. So, like, definitely. what are your, like, initial thoughts of, like, this this place? Okay, so my initial thoughts of Red Philly is mainly just, you know, it's, it's called rec, so it was like recreational. So right. I just felt like it was more for, mainly more of a creative space. You just be chilling. Yeah. You could network, you could collaborate with other people. Yeah. But yeah, my initial thoughts was like, it would be cool, it would be chill. It would be like a nice spot to slide to whenever I have nothing going on, but I also have, you know, I would like to work on more things that I feel like, I feel as though creatively that I am lacking in. So yeah, that, I feel that's you. the spot, slime. <laughs> yeah, and like the cool thing about Rec Philly, because I've done like a couple events like here in Rec Philly, like I've done like the jam sessions that they might have like around the city and stuff like that. But like the cool thing with Rec Philly is they have so many creatives. You'll see like Instagram people, you'll see like people doing music, a lot of recording artists and videographers, photographers. So, you know, I think this is the place to really get into your, you know, hone your craft and like try to get into that type of stuff. So, where can the people follow you at? Oh, follow me, bro. I'd be around. It's like, no. Um, on Instagram, because that's the only social media I really use like that. It's, um, I think it's one underscore that rail. We'll, we'll both share. Uh, we'll both follow each other after. Oh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, that's really where I'd be at. YouTube, I'm trying to come back up on that joint. Twitter, bro, bro, like, for real, like. Twitter's, Twitter's hard. Like, yeah, man, I don't know why. Like, Twitter, Twitter's my weakest platform, man. For real, bro. <laughs> I don't know why, but like, it's just weird. I had that joke for like eight years. I don't be tweeting like that. <laughs> I don't but be tweeting. I was outside of Milk Boy in like 2018, right? And yeah. I was talking to like one of the guys that was opening. He's, he's from Cali, and he said that he actually blew up from song covers on Twitter. What? And it's like, he said apparently in Cali, like Twitter is like the first thing people ask for like when they first meet somebody. So like, I, I think it's kind of weird because like we're, for us, it's Instagram. Yeah, it's Instagram. Yeah. I never knew. It was Twitter, like like in other states, because like I feel like when it's I'd say New York, right, right. Pennsylvania and Maryland, it's all three is Instagram, but probably down south, um, Louisiana, South Carolina, and Florida is like Snapchat. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's it's odd, man, because it, it's just like we're so used to Philly, so when like when we dip out and we meet someone new, and they'd be like, "Yo, what's up, man? Like, nice to meet you. What's your What's your Tumblr? Like, whole time, we, we, we in Wyoming, like... They can say Tumblr. <laughs> whole time, we, we in Wyoming, like, why are you asking me for my Tumblr? How do we even got one? Dang. He's straight drawing, like, we do not even got one. Yeah. That's wild, man. But yeah, we'll see you guys later on the tour. We're gonna have a lit time, and yeah, peace. Peace. All right, y'all, I'm here with my bro from college. We got Tito on the cut. What's up? How's everybody doing? I'm happy to be here with uh, Ikechi. It's Ikechi, right? Ikechi. Ikechi, bro. Yeah. I've been fucking saying that wrong. I'm sorry. Ikechi. That's all good. <laughs> Ikechi. So I'm here with Ikechi today, and we're going to be giving, doing a tour of Rec Philly. 
Um, so I'm super excited to, uh, to show him the space and I'm excited to show his fan base the space. Um, so yeah, stay tuned guys. So tell me a little bit more about you and your platform. Yeah, so I would start to say that like my platform is really such a loaded question when I, when I kind of think about it. My platform is to put you guys on really at the end of the day as creatives and as entrepreneurs. Um, it's really just my job um, to just make sure that you guys have the resources that you need. And so I do that by connecting myself to resources. Um, so you could think of me somewhat like an agent, right? Um, where I work with Rec, but I also own my own inter uh, production house where I manage um, and move with agency for um, recording uh, producers as well as like engineers and I help them get jobs. But also here with Rec, right, what I also do is I help creatives like yourself, right, get opportunities or get, uh, get a membership here where you can get opportunities and really just like make it make sense. Um, and so like I really just think of me kind of like, yeah, a helping hand in this journey of trying to be something greater than just an everyday person. Awesome, and for anybody who's thinking about joining Rec Philly, you know, what would you tell them? Um, I would say reach out to me, because I do these dope signing bonuses so I could get you a nice little deal. Um, and I would say that, honestly, like, Rec Philly works. Like, on, and not just Rec Philly, like, Rec, the business model works, like, it's worked so well that, um, you know, we're opening up another facility in Miami called Rec Miami. Okay. And um, so the Rec Philly members are gonna have an ability to now connect with Miami uh, people. And then from there, we're looking at Atlanta and we're looking at DC. So like, you know, in the right. next, yeah, exactly, exactly. You know what I'm trying to say? So like the model works, the community is, is filled. Right now, everybody's across from each other, but it's not gonna be like that in the next four to five years. Some of the people that you're looking to the left, you're looking to the right, you know, 16 year olds or 12 year olds are gonna be looking to us like, wow, I wanna be like Ikechi or like, wow, I wanna be like Will Toms. Like, so it's, it's crazy to kind of just think about it, but we're just like lining ourselves up to kind of be like the next ones um, up, up there. Um, and it's just honestly a due process. So I would say like, stop trying to say that like, Stop making excuses for yourself and just like show up and make it happen because it works. <laughs> awesome. So this oh. is some cool stuff that they got in the cut. You know what I'm saying? When you come to Rec Philly, you got stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? You got Powerpuff Girls right over here. These John's right over here. You know what I'm saying? Rec Philly is a really cool space. This is the collaboration room. The cool thing about the collaboration room is that they're only a credit um, for like one hour in here. Each collaboration room is gonna come with a table, it's gonna come with a uh, TV, and then a board, like a board to do some work. So it's just, it's really nice. The visual lab, currently um, in use right now, but let me quickly show you guys what this looks like. Um, actually, I'm actually gonna, we have a 3D tour of this, so I can show that to you. Okay. Yo, son. Yeah, sorry. Watch the floating floors. Um, so each studio is going to have double doors, floating floors. Uh, so the cool thing about the studios is like this one is a plug and play studio. So literally you just come right into um, the studio and you bring your laptop and you plug right in. Um, there's also Studio A and Studio B are not plug and plays. They have the dolls and everything set up for you. Each room is acoustically proof, just like this one. Yeah. So you guys will get a chance to see every different studio in there. Okay. They got the Roland Rubik's um, yeah. mm -hmm. audio interface right there. That's what's up. That's a yeah. nice spot. And you're going to see a lot of good gear. If you're, if you're a gearhead, oh, yeah. are you serious? You're going to see yeah. some good gear. Yeah. Oh, going to see some gear. I'm going to see some nice gear, y'all. Collaboration rooms, again, great for meetings. They are sponsored rooms. Um, which is really dope. Let me quickly check studio. Wow, man. Yeah, this feels like a campus. Yeah, it's very much like a campus. Hey, come inside. Oh, they got an electric drum set too. Yeah. Hey. Got the rolling drum right there with the hi hats, the crash cymbals. You feel me? Snare two times, four times. They got the lights. Um, so this is Studio Ooh. A. Um, Studio A is um, an SSL certified, you have to have be SSL, yeah, feel free to take pictures. You have to be SSL certified to use Studio A. 
Um, uh, this is you. You can get the certification from us, so SSL certified us to certify you guys. Yeah. Um, and you can use that certification in other studios as well. This is the thirty-three thousand dollar board. Everything that you see in this board is completely analog, um, and you sound phenomenal coming through this board. I um, am still learning with this thing, um, but I will say that it is definitely um, rewarding every time I like figure something out because it's like. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 a big boy, but it's like it's really dope. This right here connects into the live room that's over here. You can't see this right now, but there's a live room over there, so you can mic a whole band in there oh, and then have yeah. everything pull that's right awesome. through that's um, into the into the doll. So, what's also different about these studios is that they are um, how do I say? Uh, uh, da, 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 da. These are not plug and play. So, like for instance, the laptop, the computer, and everything is here. Um, so, for instance, you just come through and uh, you can just jump on the dogs and get the work. That's lit. We got Mac Miller in the cut over there. R.I.P. I think he just, today is when he died. Dang. Yeah, three years ago or something like that. That's wild. Thanks, bro. I say I'm liking this place, y'all. I'm really liking this place. Mm -hmm. Wow. Right. It's a nice room. Yeah, it's a very nice room. Um, and then this right here is our co-working space. So everything that you see here is completely like available for you to use. You don't need any credits, so you can just come through, rock out. Kind of like, you know, Penn State campus. Right. right. You just come through, rock out, utilize the resources, and do your thing. So we can hold um, 150 people comfortably here, 250 uncomfortably. This turns. <laughs> you know that Jones pet. Exactly. Right. Right. Um, over here, this turns into a bar area. Um, so a whole bar. Over there, um, but also for events, we use as a bar. It's a nice stage too. It's yeah, got nice a lot stage. of space. The catchy guys. This is Bashir, and then um, stop. The vibes. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, did I put that out? You said it backwards. Bruh. Benias. There you go. Hey. Second time the You said you know it. You said it back. That means I know it really well. It's like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, just so, so. Um, so yeah, over here is the equipment center. And um, everything in the equipment center is available for you to use, except the stuff with the asterisk right there in the corner. Um, yeah. So yeah. Is there any equipment you want to see, Ketchy? Um, not in particular. Do you guys have like instruments here, or no? We have a, the only instrument. We have like a couple pianos, but that's it. Are um, they like um, electric keyboards, like workstations? Yeah. So we have MIDI keyboards, and then okay. we have a Juno synthesizer, which is like a Juno. giant 88 key, and then a 66 key Casio. I might have to use that Juno. Yeah, it's really yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I have a new one. But I love it. I, I love the hair. How do you feel? Yeah. Great meeting you. Yeah. Businesses and show like what you're doing. Yeah. Um, and rock out. So this is just really cool to have this. Um, over here is an editing station. So the editing station has uh, two computers that are loaded with Adobe Creative Cloud, and you're able to just really just like rock out and utilize them. This is also a credit analysis. Okay. Okay, that's right in my alley. I'm already in school just for sure. And if you have a laptop too, you can also just go hang out right in the um, in the co-working space and edit as well. Because we'll have like some people who are designers with, with their iPads come through or laptops and work out. This is what the editing station looks like. Computer, so you have a Mac mm -hmm. as well as a PC loaded with Adobe Creative Cloud, and then you can just rock out and, and do your thing. Ooh. Does that computer have Mac uh, Windows 10? Uh, probably. I, I haven't checked, but we, we keep it up to date. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Over here um, is our artist wall, where you're able to leave your mark. Um, so we opened this about like three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Yeah. You know, it's already damn near filled. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the community just went right in and That's um, lit. had a field day with it. Recording Studio C. Let me show you what this looks like. Studio yeah, I, I got the door. You, you wow. look. Thanks, man. You get priority. <laughs> hey. Oh, this is... 
bloody. Someone turned the light off. What? Oh. Wait. Is that the switch? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the <same laughs> like, did I just cut on the air? <laughs> um, so yeah. Plug and play as well. So you got uh, the Roland Rubik's. Um, right over here, big knob, off next right into the speakers, and then you're able to just really rock out and do your thing. Also, this is new too, so it's like adjustable monitor screen for you. Um, yeah, real simple. It's like, I think what I enjoy about it the most is just the simplicity of the rooms, the tables, you know, the space, right? You can come through, like each room in its own self is like a multi-purpose room. So yeah. you can use it for several different things. Like you don't have to come in here and record if you just wanted to come through and write, or if you just want to come through and use this as a place to get away from home, you could do that. Just sit there on the couch, rock out over here. That's and nice, yeah. Because I was, I mean, I was thinking about doing it, just sitting here. Just sitting here, yeah. I was just, like, that's a really nice yeah. nap couch. Because today I was looking for a place to nap. You said nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is a nice couch. Yeah, just nice book couch. it. Yeah, just to take a nap. This is gonna be one of those <laughs> good naps where you wake up drooling. Don't right, me. right. <laughs> this thing. Um, the cubbies over here are free for you to use, um, just like the co-working space. You don't have to pay for these cubbies. Okay. Uh, just kind of first come, first serve. Right. Yo, what's going on? What's up, man? So over here is our rec core values. So the cool thing about the rec core values is that everybody here in the community encompasses some of these values in some type of way. Um, the ones that really stick out to me is being proud and expressive of who you are and what you do, and then being connected to your mission, um, as well as being growth-minded. Like, I think one of the cool things about rec is that, like, there's nothing like this before and you guys have probably never seen anything like this like like this before so it's a little bit new yeah. so there takes a little bit of like growing when it kind of comes into like oh wait i can be a part of this community and i can add value to this community and they can add value to me as well right so it's like it's really dope um gender neutral clean bathrooms one thing i always like to do at these bathrooms is take a picture with everybody not taking a tour up uh -huh. so, so yeah let's get this stuff we going Yo, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said he said it. All right, on three, guys. Right, let me take the mask off. I don't even know how to pull. I don't know what to pull. On three. One, two, three, cheese. And then one more. One, two, three, cheese. Oh, <laughs> <Hey>. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this might be the new smoke. You just chill. Yeah. And then we have a podcast studio and a movement studio, which are currently closed right, right now. That's for you. The podcast. Yeah. Podcast, yeah. That's chill. Quick question That's for chill. you guys. How do you guys know that the studio is closed? Oh, because of the, uh, the joint ready? There you go. Yeah. I said the joint. He already did. Really fell. Don't worry. But yeah, that's exactly how you know. Um, so let me just quickly show you what this, what they look like. You can quickly get an idea. They got all these, um, what are these called again? Polaroids. Yeah, Polaroids, Polaroids. yes. A lot of Polaroids. So check this out over here, guys. This is what the, um, the po uh, podcast studio that looks like. That joke gives me uh, hot box with Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's not the that little jumper. Just, exactly. Like, just a room where you're just able to like lock in. Um, four mics all connected to a mixer, all connected to a Zoom recorder. Movement studio. This is what the movement studio looks like. So the movement studio is a multifunctional room. It can be used for photo shoots, but then you can also use it for dancing as well. That is sick. Yeah, that's... That's really nice. So that's just right in, right in here. Oh, so they're both closed right now? Yeah, well, they're both in use. Oh, oh, yeah, oh so the, 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 yeah, the red just means that like someone's currently using it. Moment. Oh, okay. So like, I, I hate it for me. I hate podcasts. It's in here from five to seven p.m. This should be tripping. Dying on this drone. Oh, that actually is. Yeah, I thought you were. I thought he. No, that you should zoom in on this. You <laughs> thought I just said it just to say. No. Drone. This one. I hate podcasts. That's a good lineup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, for the podcast, there's two things called, there's one called I Hate Podcast, and another one's Bitches Be Trippin'. Yeah, both I Hate Podcast, Bitches Be Trippin', I agree. Free speech starts here. Also guys, this is Scarlett, she's basically like the mom of this facility, she's dope. 
Um, but yeah, if you guys have anything with like member success that has to do with like memberships and just like operations, he's the perfect person to talk to. Yeah. Yeah, I call, I call everyone slime because that's that you just know I mess with you if I call you slime. Oh, no, say less. <laughs> I slime you slime. So far, I'm loving this place, y'all. This place has some really cool stuff. A lot of nice gear. Um, a lot of cool people too. You know, it's nice being around creatives. So, I really want to see if I can probably get involved with this type of stuff. You know, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about my afterthoughts. You know, after this tour. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, you ever watch the like sports commentary? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Four rating eight. Crafters <laughs> ten. Right. Right. You open the Thanks, door house, CJ open the car door in, in San Andreas. You got caught slipping, G. <laughs> he just he yanks the, the life out yes. of it, John. He gets in the car all amazed and he'd be slamming the door and shit. <laughs> I, I never could play uh, Grand Theft Auto correctly. Um, I'd always just roam around. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> Man. Just hijack the cars and drive around. We just finished the tour, y'all. This John was amazing. Um, bro, what was your thoughts, man? What were your thoughts on this tour, man? Oh, on this whole tour? Yeah. It, it, it was the big, you know? This man calling everyone slime. Bro, I be, I, be, I, be, I be calling everybody slime just cause. Cause I know this is my first day and the next time I come back, I ain't really gonna say much. So I just wanna meet as many people as I can before the second day occurred, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yo, this day has been lit. Um, I got to see this place. Yo, God. What's good, y'all? Not much. I'm doing good. good. I just joined this joint. Me too. You just joined, bro? Hey. All right, y'all. So I just ran into these dope, amazing artists here. Tell them who you are. Sean Dillinger. You know what I'm saying? It's my man's Lil Max, L O M, L O M. A3X, you know what I'm saying? The rest of the crew right over here. It's Don What's Voltron up, right John now. Don Voltron, the manager, Jamie. Yeah, what am I saying? The group, Jamie and me. Right now, we getting the podcast done for the Reef and Madness Collective. It's Jim Pop Collective. We are working on some music right now. Oh, Follow us on, oh. on all our social media, you know what I'm saying? At Sean Dillinger, at Don Voltron, at LOMA. 3X, you know what I'm saying? Jamie Jamie Fitz right there, you know what I mean? Sad. Yeah, we working. V-O-L-T-R-O-F. You know what I mean? We working. Everywhere. We working. Right now, getting this podcast, you know what I mean? Trying to stack up the content, you know what I mean? Gotcha. Trying to st stack up the goodness for all y'all, you know what I mean? But right. shout out to my man right here. Catch the vlog. Subscribe. All that other good shit, you know what I mean? We gonna get it popping though. Hey. Before, before you you I, I got Lomax and Jamie's Grimms. I haven't gotten y'all's. Yeah, we all Plugs exchange our grand and everything, you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, I hey. got you. Keep up the great work. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Thank you. I'll you, talk to you. Back all right, bro. We out here in Rec Philly, you know what I'm saying? We got, who we got today? What's good? It's your boy, Xavier. And then, and what do you do? Like, what's your thing? Uh, I am a filmmaker and movement artist. I dance and I make films. Word. We literally just met each other. We got Terrell right here in the cut as well. Um, fed a couple things that you know I may need helping. You feel me? Like facts. Hey, I'm around. And you bro. say you say you dance too, son. He yeah, is right. Hey, bro, you you gotta you gotta teach you some moves, bro. Ah, bro, I, I used to dance for real. I used to dance, but I ended right. up stopping. Yeah, copy. You, wait, you know how to do a flare? Nah, I'm not a flare guy. Oh. Not a flare. I used to. Everybody want to learn the flare. Yeah, though. That flare. That, flare. that should be nice, right? I, you, bro, <laughs> you you have to try it, bro. Bro, I try. I just suck at it. Honestly, I can only I can only do a portion of it. I can only have one leg go around. Yeah, no, I feel you like that. Like it's just that initial momentum. Like, yeah. Once you get past the first leg, you can do like three, easy. Watch. Just, so, like, once. <laughs> you you gotta put me on. Nah, bro, you got me, <laughs> He said you got me, buddy. Wait, so how long have you been here? How long have you uh, been a member? Uh, yeah, right. Probably like a year. Didn't miss space. Probably like. Ooh. Since it opened, actually. Like, when did that? I remember like a year and a half ago, maybe. 
dark. Maybe, maybe two. No, it's like a year and a half, probably. Here's some change. Holy shit. Damn. Yeah. So, like, yeah, you've been here, been here, bro. Been around. You feel me? He's been around. Been right around now. the block, you feel me? Been around the block. <laughs> bro. That that means you just you, you've been here, then also you just been chilling and enjoying yourself, bro. Yeah, man. I just like the space, bro. Just get to chill, yeah. meet people, relax. There's couches and shit. Take bro. a nap. Bro, or, bro, bro, you can literally yeah. slide to a studio and just be there doing the couch. Like you just pack something. Oh, you said do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> like literally do what you want. Bro, I'm gonna start doing it. I'm gonna just slide here just to sleep. <laughs> so, there's gonna be a couple of niggas trying, just trying to make music. They see me dicked on the drone. I'll be dreaming. <laughs> the perfect nap space. Right. <laughs> bro, you know the sleep's be good. Posterize you, drooling and shit. Yes, yeah, like, bro, you know the sleep good was when you start drooling, bro. You wake <laughs> up dick, the dry spit right here. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I'm about to go to a, mo a meeting, bro. All right. Pleasure to meet yeah. you. And where can the people follow you at? You can follow me at Xavier Misbehavior on Instagram. Definitely follow me, y'all. Support his content. Yeah, we getting busy in that stew right now. Wait, hey. wait, wait. No, no, no. My homie, the kid Silv, right now is preparing for his live performance this Sunday at 7 p.m., right? Not that live, but just live on Instagram live, uh, 7 p.m. Um, so, you know what I mean? You guys can tune in. But me, I'm Soof the Radio Kid. I'm an artist, singer, songwriter, producer, engineer. Holy and uh, I'm here, you know what I mean? I'm here at Rec Philly. I do a lot of little things, you know what I mean? I'm here at Rec Philly, just vibing it out, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? If you need yeah. some help, that's what I'm here wait, for. Wait, we, should, we gotta help each other, wait, man. You said you're a producer, so that means you make beats, bro? Yes, I do. Oh, make beats. He makes beats, You know, I, I try to do a little bit of everything. You know what I mean? If you need something, you call me. If I can't do it, I know somebody will do it. Exactly. Bro, it's, like, it's like you selling gas. If I don't have it, you don't want it. Exactly. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Just that Zaza, though. That's he said that's that Zaza. <laughs> and where can the people follow you at? Yo, for real, for real, you can follow me at S-O-O-F, the radio kid. That's Soof, the radio kid, on IG and everything else. Bet. Dime. Oh, see, that's you know, that's the type of charisma, a type of nigga we'll be wanting for real. You feel me, like exactly, finesse everything. All right, y'all. So honestly, I had an amazing time here, at Rec Philly. Got to see all the different places, um, all the different equipment that they have, all the different rooms. I got to meet a lot of dope artists, and you can hear the music right now. This is definitely a lit place so i feel like this is gonna be an awesome time yeah if you guys like this video please make sure to like comment share and if you're new to the channel subscribe make sure to follow us on social media links are down below inside the description make sure to turn on post notifications the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you never miss a video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys soon peace